Joining us now is Jairus Pendleton. He is a defensive tackle who was drafted in the seventh round by Jacksonville. And uh, we're featuring him on the show because he went to Ashland University. Jairus, first of all, welcome and congratulations to you. Thank you for having me on. Thank you. Uh, you and I have something in common. Uh, when I did my homework to get ready uh, to interview you today, I'm born and raised in Chicago, and I understand you're from Chicago. Yes, I am from the south side of Chicago, born and raised. Where'd you go to school? Uh, Dunbar Vocational Career Academy. Oh, Dunbar, absolutely. I went to Loyola Academy. We used to play you guys in football in the prep bowl. It definitely did. <laughs> you have a unique story, Jairus. Um, Michigan State wanted you. Uh, you were all set to go there. Your grades um, uh, prevented you from going there. So as a result, um, uh, you had to uh, work. Um, you had a child. You worked your way back uh, in, and wound up at Ashland. Tell us about that path. And it's a, it's a very it, – it, you're to be commended for what you've accomplished. And Lee Owens uh, was able to bring you into Ashland. Take us through that. Yeah, um, well, I, like you said, I played in uh, at Dunbar Vocational. Um, it was I, I had some good success there. Um, I played there for four years on varsity. Got to my senior year, I got um, I got sidetracked. You know, I I, I kind of slipped in my grades. Michigan State wanted me; they wanted to uh, send me down to a JUCO, and they was going to bring me in um, after that. But um, I didn't I didn't finish school, so I had to go to night classes and make up classes and stuff like that. And during that process, I had my first son, and um, I needed I, I, I needed money right then. Um, so I had that my me and my fiance Ashanti. I, I knew I had to work, so I just had to go ahead and start going right into the working field. I started working at a nursing home. I worked there for two and a half years. Then went on. I met a lady there, and I went on to do construction. Um, I stayed with him for like a year and a half. We broke off. Um, then I end up looking at a newspaper to get my. Um, my security um, armed and uh, armed license, and um, at the end of that, I ended up working at a hospital. And I was like, you know what? I'm struggling. I'm struggling paycheck to paycheck. It's still not. It's still not um, getting getting stuff done. I mean, I got another son. I I, just, I had my other son, Jameer, and it was like, you know what? I got in order to give myself a better chance. I got to go back to school and um, work towards that bachelor's degree, just so I can be able to live live like I want to live and be able to take care of my kids. So I knew I knew that the first the first step was to go go to a junior college and start start from there. So I walked on to Joliet, um, uh, enrolled in school, and just told the coach I was like, might as well I might as well try to get back into the football thing and not give up on my dream. And I uh, ended up playing football. Started on started there for two years, um, earning a scholarship to Ashland. Um, play here for two years, and I ended up in this position right here. Well, it's a tremendous story. Um, tell us the influence that Lee Owens had on you. Oh, um, Coach Owens is a, is, a, is a great coach. Um, the, um, coach, he brought me in. I mean, I didn't feel like it was, um, you know, I had to be uh, faking around this this uh, coaching staff or uh, being being like um, – you know, not myself around him. He felt like it felt like a family atmosphere. Um, coach, he really, he really helped me out a whole lot. He 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 saw what I was going through, what I was trying to achieve. Um, I mean, it, it was just a he made my transition easy, and I thank him for that. You know, did this come? I mean, it maybe it was in the back of your mind because you're you're such a good uh, football player. But I mean, let's face it, you're up there in years as far as football players are concerned. You're 28, which I which ironically is the same age as the quarterback that we drafted from Oklahoma State, as you know, Brandon Whedon. But it, let's face it, you went back to school to get an education to support your family. Um, it, did you dream about perhaps getting recognized by some scout and having a shot at the NFL, going to a small school like Ashland? Oh, oh definitely. I mean, um, that was that was part of the plan. I mean, I, 
in high school, I always wanted to go to the to the NFL, and you know, I had dreams about it, but I I didn't stick to it. And I said, you know, and how how can I push my kids when they get older and tell them, you know, follow your dream, don't don't give up. Anything is accomplishable. If if I gave up on my dream, so I was like, you know what? If I'm gonna do it, if I'm gonna go back to school and get my bachelor's degree, I'm gonna do it all. I'm gonna go back and play football, and hopefully it lead to the NFL. But I mean, if it don't, then I mean I'll fall back on my um my my degree. But I mean. I can say that I gave it a shot. That's great. Uh, how did you get discovered? What uh, what scouts from what team discovered you first at Ashland? Uh, well, it, I, I can't even say it was plenty of scouts coming in after um, the, the the first um, couple of games. They was coming in checking out film. Coach Rose was sending out uh, letters to, to telling scouts, you know, come and check out. He got a player to come check out. Um, Coach Rose was calling people, telling them they need to come check me out. So I mean, it was plenty. It was uh, several different scouts coming in at the time checking out film. So. I mean, I can't tell you which one particular came in first. So what advice would you have to guys uh, m- maybe in a, in a similar situation as far as going to a smaller school like Ashland? You can indeed pursue your dream. I mean, with hard work, dedication, perseverance, you can do anything. I mean, it's just, it's just whatever you got your mindset to do. You can do it no matter if you go to a division school, a division two school, division three. I mean, if you got talent and you you working hard, it's going to get noticed. Did you uh, visit Jacksonville for a workout? Yeah, actually, well, I didn't do a workout. I said they um, they was actually at the pro day that I did at Northwestern, and then they brought me in like um, I want to say that next week after so on a visit just to meet with um, um, Gene Smith, the GM, um, Coach Malarkey. And um, uh, Terry McDougal, the uh, di- uh, director of player personnel, uh, pro scouting. I mean, and um, I just met with the whole coaching staff. Um, it was just like a, a basically like an interview and meeting with the coaching staff. So you had to be what? Well, take us through what it was like a seventh and final round, and they grabbed you. You and your family had to be celebrating. Definitely, definitely. I mean, um, <laughs> it was kind of funny because um, I got the call. And they they told my my agent that they was gonna take either me or a wide receiver, and um, we was waiting for this wide receiver to get picked because they said if the wide receiver get picked, then they was gonna take me. So we we me and me and Matt Stoinoff was looking at the um, list, and we looking like, nah, they ain't gonna pick a wide receiver. I'm gonna have to go undrafted. And then it came down to the pick before. Then I got a phone call. And they was asking me all type of questions like, uh, was I a U.S. citizen and all that? And I, I thought that they were just trying to hold me hold me on the line and just uh, get me to sign with him as an undrafted free agent. And um, he, he just came out with it like, uh, no, nah, I just want to congratulate you and welcome you to the uh, Jaguar family. Uh, your name's going to come across the screen. And, I mean, the feeling that, the feeling that I felt at that time is just indescribable. <laughs> Are you a U.S. citizen? Where do they think it came from, Venus? <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, you've got final exams right now. Are you going to complete those to get your degree and then and then join Jacksonville? Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. I still, I'm still working towards my degree. I got a, um, a, another year, but I am going to get my bachelor's degree. Um, I only need 33 more hours. And, um, yeah, but right now, uh, once I finish with this last final, I'll be um, down in Jacksonville working towards the roster spot. Jarris, it's a great story. And um, I wish you nothing but the best for you and your family. And thanks for joining us on the show. No problem. Thank you for having me. All right. That is uh, Jarris Pendleton.